What is Corvair Wild doing? Looking at a Tri Star, Silver Star. It's kind of corroded. What's he doing? I think he's at a junkyard. Got all kinds of junk here. All kinds of goodies. Volkswagen. Corvair Wild just bought a Mercedes. Yep. Not perfect. 1999. Kind of old school. I was looking for a truck to buy here in Florida, but couldn't find a truck, so I started looking at Mercedes convertibles because I kind of sort of know them. And uh, yep, saw this beauty. Texted the guy at 10:30 last night, and he answered me immediately. All the way up to 11 o'clock, and I texted him at 10 o'clock this morning. Said I'm on my way. He said it's on hold, pending sale. Too bad, so sad. I said. Called him up right away. He says, I had some guy come by here and he's buying it for his kid. I said, you're going to sell this beautiful car to a kid? He says, it's just a unit. We try to move units here. We got lots of them. Anyhow, I took a chance, drove uh, an hour or so up the road to Jacksonville at 55 miles an hour. No, I was going 75. And I got into the lot and I looked the car over and I said, well, it's not quite as nice as the mileage would indicate. It's not mint. It's got a couple little dents and bruises. And then I try to close the door and I'll fill you in. I should have done this a few minutes earlier, but we were doing paperwork and I got a rental car to deal with. So we got a couple of issues. Yep. What's going on? Yep. Closes if you slam it, but I'm thinking, why is the glass so tight to the rubber molding? So the dealer was away at the auction. He finally came back with his F-350 with a trailer empty. He says the prices are nuts at the auction. Couldn't buy anything. So... Got two keys, they're $225 each. He says, aren't the windows supposed to go down automatically? Crank that baby up. So, we lowered the window and butter, just like a Mercedes is supposed to be. Look at that. So there's a relay that's supposed to lower the glass when you pull the door handle. So some micro switch somewhere is not working properly. And he also told me that the convertible top doesn't go down. So maybe they're all related because and I don't know these things very well and I got to sort. Oh my God, that hurts. See the windows go down when you unhook the top. But when you hit the button, it flashes. But I hear a relay in the back going click, click, click. Oh, it hurts to tip it. Hear it? Oh, there go the windows. So we've got a sequence that we've got to figure out why the top doesn't go down and why this thing. I think it was flashing earlier. This convertible top button was flashing red. So there's something that has to be done here. Lower the windows first, then the top goes down. So I bet you there's a solenoid or a relay that's got a little contact problem and the check engine light just went on. They won't like that in New York. 45,000 miles. Yep. But, like all used vehicles, especially used vehicles that are 20 years old, Got a couple of issues. Nothing is mint unless it's brand new. Got a seat bolster here that's torn. A little bit of crazy glue and some duct tape ought to fix that. Then I noticed in just the right light, there's been some bondo right over here, and you can't see it unless you hit the light just right. I noticed there's some paintwork on the black trim. So I don't know if you can catch it. I saw it before. You catch just the right light and it appears right there. And the other side has the same thing. So how did he get damage on both sides in the same place? Yeah, right here. A little bit higher up, right there. Really hard to see, but it's there. It's got cheap Chinese tires in the back, junk. And it's got nice Continentals in the front that are two or three years old. Pretty good tread. 
I was thinking maybe to put four tires on it and get one size bigger tire and fill the wheel well up a little bit. It's a really cool color. Kind of a bluish with a drop of purple in it. And it's got a little dents, a couple little dings. There's one above the wheel right there. The PDR guy. We'll get that one. Just some fogging in over here for whatever damage. There's a scrape. Where do I see it? In the windshield pillar over here. Well, the scrape has been touched up. And I think I saw another one somewhere else. But overall, for 20 years old, I think it's a nice car. Of course, you're going to ask how much I paid, and I could always answer none of your, your effing business. Oh my god. This is getting better, but later in the day, it stresses me. The trunk is nice and clean. I bought a chainsaw at a pawn shop. They got, they got lots of those around here. So we got a nice car. Let's look under the hood. So we've got a genuine Mercedes windshield wiper blade. And a genuine Florida. Oh, I thought it was a nick in the glass. What do we got under the hood? Okay, definitely have to get a better hood ornament. This one is so badly corroded. been detailed of course what else is new the first thing I did notice before even seeing the bodywork was rust right over there why would that rust I have no idea near the ocean we check the Carfax on it it's got a Carfax it's got a clean title the dealer was very nice and fair with me made some arrangements that worked to my benefit we won't go into details yeah I can see that damage right over here a little fumed in spot. Could have done a better job, didn't put sealer on it. I don't know if you can catch it in the camera. I don't think it'll catch it. It's pretty well done, but not perfect. So there it is. Bought me a new Mercedes, 1999. I was looking for a truck to haul my loader around with, but this popped up. And how do you pass up a beautiful convertible for not a lot of money? 45,000 miles. And it's real clean, looked underneath. No corrosion except for that one spot, so I'm not sure how I'm going to clean that up. I'll take out this bottle. Someone's already removed the nut for me. I'm not sure why they would remove it, but it has been removed. I'm going to clean that up. And I don't think I'm going to do any more body work, because where do you find a body shop that does nice work nowadays in the small town that I live in? So there it is. A little bit of corrosion on these center caps. Maybe there's some cheap Chinese ones on eBay. The lug nuts are a little tired. I'll put some steel valve stems on it. Drives real nice. Convertible top issue will be fixed. I'm sure it's just a relay. There's a seal issue in the pump, but someone said you can see if there's oil, and I don't think there is. I think the guy said he checked. I'll have to ask him again. So there it is, 45,000 miles, 1999. No T-Ruck. I don't know if I want to get a Ford. There's a Ford, a 77.3, a 96 in Parrish near Sarasota. Maybe I'll drive there now. Go take a look at it. It's got 188,000 miles and a rebuildable title, which means it has to go through layers of paperwork and administration before it can be driven on the road. So maybe I'll have to come back and pick up a 7.3 Ford. Time will tell, huh? So there it is. Anything you want to know about it, just ask. We're in Jacksonville, Florida. Nice dealer. Good guy. I hope. Still a dealer. Got to move the units. Lots of Volkswagens here, and where's the Volkswagen mechanic? Drunk. Yep, drunk as a skunk. All kinds of goodies here. No mechanic. He's working on a BMW inside the shop. He's taking the valve cover bolts off the five series, six cylinder, and the head of the bolt breaks off. Now how do you remove the valve cover? You have to lift it up another inch. I guess he's got his problems, huh? Having a good time on vacation. Hope I recuperate.